we are in this situation largely because of the banks, because of the uh, shortage at the banks, because of the difficulty with the banks over a number of months, a number of years. One of the difficulties, Pat Rabbit, all along has been we don't seem to know exactly how much we need to put into the banks. When will we get to the truth of that in terms of, of how much more we need to put into those institutions? Well, we don't know that. And, and uh, I've been alarmed by information given to me during the course of these negotiations, which would suggest that the Irish banks have sold off the majority uh, of their loans by way of securitization. Uh, those loans, therefore, are effectively now owned by the bondholders and the instrument used is called uh, guaranteed interest contracts. And under these guaranteed interest contracts, uh, if the short-term uh, debt rating of the banks were to be reduced, then the bondholders are in a position to reduce the amount of cash that the banks hold on their behalf. And therefore, it seems to me... That's where the National Pension Reserve Fund comes in because the banks would have to replenish that cash and they would be likely to do it from the National Pension Reserve Fund. And that would be an absolute tragedy because it has the capacity to gobble up the National Pension Reserve Fund very quickly. So we don't know uh, to what extent securitization has been used in the banks. We don't know what the indebtedness as a result, how deep the hole is as a result. And uh, the National Pension Reserve Fund is the last piggy bank that we have left in the state. And if it is true that that has been thrown into the mix, uh, then that would have the most serious implications for us because uh, the, the banks have written these derivative contracts, uh, but they have no collateral to back them up. And I believe that's uh, a main reason why the ECB uh, stopped lending. I mean, it's very remarkable that the lender of, ra of last resort should have called a halt. And I believe it has called a halt because it has learned that there is a derivatives problem in the Irish banks and that we have not been told the extent of that. John Corn, is that true? Or is, the, is, the, is the hole in the banks even greater than we've been led to believe uh, heretofore? No, I want to go back on one or two points. Uh, firstly, in all that we've done to date, the ECB has stood right behind us and have supported the banking situation in Ireland with continued liquidity. Now, I suppose over time, that situation has to change because the liquidity is short-term cash that's being advanced to the banks. And I do admit at very, very low rates, we, we heard the figures there. So there is a restructuring. The problem here is that the restructuring of the banks per se needs to move probably at a, at a faster pace. The banks are simply too large for Ireland, in other words, in terms of the size of our economy. And can you just specifically address the issue of these derivatives that Pat Rabbit was talking about, that the banks effectively have given these senior bondholders first call on cash from the National Pension Reserve Fund? Have you heard of that before? No, I haven't. I haven't, Richard. Does it sound no. credible? I don't know, Richard, but I haven't heard of it before. It would be an awful tragedy, would you agree, and, and would plunge us into even deeper chaos than, than we thought. Well, well, that's the whole point, Richard, of what we're trying to do here with this, uh, this package that we're putting together. It's to bring some stability to the situation, uh, both from the point of view of managing our own economy and having funds available, but also <laughs> having funds available, if necessary, to deal with the banking situation. But there's an issue and here... That's, and, that, and that's the point of putting this package and fund together. Well, what's the and point... What's the, John, sorry to interrupt you. What's the point of trying to put together a rescue package if you don't know the extent of the damage to the banks? And these guys have not been straight with you all along. But my clear understanding is over the last uh, week or so when the negotiations from the IMF uh, were here and the European Commission, these issues were specifically looked at. So you, it, was in, it, it was in that context uh, of all of that that this package has been put together. Looked at, by, who, were, looked they, at by whom? But the European Commission and the ECB, the IMF, would have looked at this issue. This issue of a package that we're putting together is both to support our own economy uh, the borrowing requirements of the economy over the coming years, and but banks. also also what might need to be done with the banks. So you're saying that if, if this hole that Pat Rabbit is talking about, if that's there, these guys would have spotted it and taken it into account in their negotiations this week? Yes. That doesn't answer uh, why, if it is the case, that the, EB, the ECB was looking for the state assets as security for future loans and why the National Pension Reserve Fund has come into the equation. Uh, the fact is that the banks have not been straight with us. They haven't been straight with the government. They didn't tell the government the truth. And it seems to me that it may be the case that now the banks have nothing to back up these derivatives and that the markets know this as well. 
and that explains why our bond prices have been rising continually and it explains why the ECB took the extraordinary decision that it did. Of course it's correct, as John has said, that the ECB has been immensely supportive up to now, but the ECB is into the Irish banks for almost £160 billion. And at what stage did they discover, if they have discovered, the full depth of the whole? And is our National Pension Reserve Fund being put at risk uh, of, of disappearing into the black hole that is the bank's before you can say Jack Robinson. Can you give assurances on that, John Kern? Well, the assurance I give is that this package uh, was dealt with. Now, uh, another question that arose yesterday, um, Pat Robert, uh, the um, Labour Party spokesperson on justice, but formerly on finance, mm. a former leader, he effectively claimed that there's some sort of a dirty bomb uh, in the form of tens of billions of derivative losses uh, that could explain, in the banks, um, that could explain the flight of deposits and the indeed previously the ECB's reluctance to lend any more to Irish banks. Do you know anything about that? Um, I, of course, I, I heard the, the, um, uh, the, this statement and we've been trying to understand what this could be about and, and what I think is, is, is this this is possibly reflects something that happened last week where there were considerable downgrades, rating agency downgrades and rating agency downgrades have consequences for the ability of the banks to use to use their packages, their asset-backed securities, which here's the derivatives come into it, as collateral for ECB borrowing. OK, so uh, it, it's not as if they so they wouldn't be able to borrow in the normal course in the ECB to the extent that they were. Uh, let me assure you that this is a situation that is under control in discussion with the ECB. The ECB is continuing to play its part to underpin the stability of the banking system. This is not going to cause a problem. It's just a technical shift from, uh, from one uh, heading to another heading. And um, so uh, can you then be sure, as a result of that, that um, the banks aren't hiding further big losses? There has been no indication from, uh, there are, I don't know, must have been 40 people from the different agencies. They weren't all looking at the banks, but they were looking at different aspects. There's been no indication in our discussions over the past uh, couple of weeks that there is a hole that we hadn't discovered. I think some of the people from outside came in saying, we'll probably find a hole. They didn't find a hole, OK? So... And these are the, 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 the world's best experts at uh, discovering bad news, I suppose, in financial Well, in fairness, they haven't had that much time. It, ta- it takes some time to do uh, d- detailed work, and we will be doing more detailed work. We are constantly looking for holes. And when we find holes, we're going to tell people about the holes and we're going to deal with them because that's been the strategy all along to come up front. If there's bad news, we tell it as it is. Is that why you got in touch with Morning Ireland about 10 days ago to say, look, here's what's going on? We, we, there was a certain sense that people felt you were impatient that the public weren't being, being told the, the story that needed to be told. Well, I was concerned that there was a, 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 an uncertainty about financial stability, that there was a sort of sense that something was going wrong and that nobody knew what and where things were going. I, I just uh, so and then there was an, uh, an editorial in the Financial Times, which I read overnight in Frankfurt, uh, talking in, in, in alarmist terms. And I said, "This, this I, I'll have to come along and and uh, and just lay out clearly what's going on." You're not much more than a year in that job. Uh, it's been a very eventful year, to to put it in a very mild sense. I mean, ha- has the worst that can happen now happened as far as you're concerned as governor? And the IMF have been, and well, they're not gone yet, but you know they're laying down the law, as indeed are, are our European partners, to use your phrase. Um, I, I'm, I'm sorry to hear you being so pejorative about our, our European partners. Of course, some of them are tougher than others. But uh, I, I think the, the key to, to all of this, these kinds of discussions, uh, international official lending, is it's a win-win. People are not trying to scalp you. Okay, the, 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 they're not charging the cheapest interest rates that are ever found, but they are trying to ensure uh, uh, that the economy comes back to strength again. That is what they're... Uh, if it's in their interests as well as in our interests. And the interest rates are reasonably high because they don't want other countries to say, uh, oh, sure, if we get into trouble, we'll be able to get very cheap financing. I'm not sure if it was you or uh, the Minister of Finance uh, came up with the word manageable to describe the situation which we found I'm ourselves. afraid it was me. Well, now, uh, it's, it's, it's almost kind of been a devout. 